Number two, we're going to make it a lot easier for homeowners to borrow money for home energy retrofits. We're doing this by encouraging communities, and some are already doing this, by the way, without, with, without our help, as Nance can tell you. They've been ahead of the curve here. Communities and municipalities to give you the option to pay the expense of retrofitting your home, to pay it back in your property taxes. So let's say you got to go out there and we're going to give them start seed money, those who want to participate. And let's say you're paying 2000 bucks a year in property taxes, okay? I'm just make it easy. Uh, I wish it were that easy, but uh, uh, that easy. Well, and let's say in order you get this energy efficiency audit come in using the standards that we set up, and they say if you do A, B, C, and D, you qualify. And what you got to do is you got to put in new windows. And the new windows making it up cost $10,000. Well, what you'd be able to do through a financing mechanism they use is borrow the $10,000 from that community or municipality if they choose to participate, and you'll pay it back in your property taxes. So instead of paying 2000 bucks back, it's like paying back the bank. You will, the banks aren't lending the money now. You will be able to pay it back in your property tax. And the property tax will follow the home. So you sell the home, the person buying the home pays back that in their, and it's worth it to them to do it because the home is considerably more efficient. So we're going to spread the cost over a longer period of time. The hope is with programs that you're going to hear about, I presume from Secretary Donovan, on how to finance these things, for example, uh, as Vice President talked about, in putting it on your property taxes, the additional payment of this interest, which would be a mortgage-like interest rate spread out over 20 years, would be less than the money you're saving from energy. So the homeowner will have from a month to month, first no out-of-pocket expenses and a gain in their effective income. And so that, in addition to creating jobs that would stimulate the economy vis-a-vis -vis the retrofit work, you also have homeowners now having more money in their pockets, which will go back into the economy. And so this is the idea of, of this. We hope it's self-sustaining. If you think about the weatherization program for low-income housing, it's $5 billion. If you assume an average cost of $5,000 for weatherizing a particular home, that does a million homes. Okay, what about the other 129 million homes that need to be retrofitted? And so this is a way of getting something that's largely self-funded or totally self-funded that can actually sweep across the country. And there are uh, additional programs we're now cooking up uh, in terms of commercial buildings. But before I hand it over to uh, Secretary Donovan, are you next, Sol Secretary Solis? Um, whoever. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to point out that uh, this, is the, this program is the brainchild of Kathy Zoe, who's the Assistant Secretary of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy. She's over there. Wave your hand, Kathy. And, um, and it's, now it's got the enthusiastic kibitzing of uh, Under Secretary Christina Johnson and myself. And so, um, so she has her hands full of, of us sticking our noses into her, saying, why don't you try this, why don't you try that? Uh, and she's, very, she's been very gracious in listening, pretending to listen to us. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, the second program I want to touch on, the Vice President also mentioned this, is PACE, Property Assessed Clean Energy, which permits property owners to request municipal financing for energy retrofits or renewable energy systems through a special tax assessment on the property. Under recovery through retrofit, HUD will work with state and local governments to recognize, uh, recommend standardized underwriting criteria and safeguards to protect consumers and minimize financial risks to homeowners and lenders. HUD will also facilitate the collection of data and help measure PACE performance to build market confidence and ensure the adoption of more uniform and universal practices.